Hey, good evening, Auburn Trojan High School staff, parents, guardians, and students. This is Jeff Gardner, principal of Auburn High School with an important message about the week of October 11th. That's coming up next week. Today is October 6th. Uh, one of the things that we're going to implement next week, we've done this in past years, usually we implement it at the start of the year. This year, we've kind of been doing things incrementally, kind of getting kids slowly into the flow of school. But now it's time to implement our 1010 uh, practice. And the 1010 practice, or the 1010 rule that many people call it, just means this. Um, we would really want our kids to engage fully in all of the lessons being taught in our classrooms and also to make sure the teachers can check for understanding. Okay, so what does it look like? Uh, we know that our students get five minutes to pass between classes. And then a lot of the, well, it's all important, but some of the most important things that happen to really hook our brains, and, and I'm talking about learners here, to really hook the learner brain, happens in those first 10 minutes of class. Our teachers go through good things. Our teachers greet our students, find out how their day's going, and that usually takes you know three to five minutes. Um, and then the next thing our teachers do is they do what they call a learning target, which is really what we're going to try to lead our kids to that particular day. We give our students success criteria so the students realize when they are being successful and meeting the learning target. And often our teachers will describe what the performance task is for that day. So this is what you're going to do or show or demonstrate to know that you've earned uh, the standard. You've, you've met the standard for that day or that learning target. Um, the first 10 minutes is essential for that. And then we know that once we get into that middle 30 minutes, um, that ends up being a little bit more maybe direct instruction by the teacher, maybe more collaborative learning by the students. It could be an activity. They could be working on a project together. They could be doing a, uh, a read out loud. They could be watching a video or, or educational videos. And then as we get down to that last 10 minutes of class, it's really important for teachers to be able to probe and to find out what it is the students have retained from that particular lesson to find out if what happened in that class has been successful. We know that we strive to make sure we meet the needs of every student. And we know that if we can get at least 80 to 90% of the kids to each lesson up to that point, we know we're gonna have to spend some more time with some of the students. We, we all could use a little bit of extra help from time to time, but that last 10 minutes gives our teachers an opportunity to access through a exit slip, through just questioning out loud or getting kids to do turn and talks to make sure they understood what it was they were to capture in that lesson. So the first 10 minutes and the last 10 minutes are essential to being in class, in your work area, in your seat, interacting with your teacher, interacting with other students so that we know that the information that was shared, the important content is now cemented in your brain. So what the practice is gonna look like, students have the five minutes to pass to class, they really need to be in their classes before they can sign out to go use the restroom, to get a drink of water during that middle 30 minutes. And then as you get down to that 10th, 11th, 12th, last minutes of the class, teachers are probably gonna deny that right because they are now gonna start getting into checking for understanding and doing some of the things that are important for teachers to do. So this goes into effect. There's not gonna be any signing out or hall passes during the first 10 minutes of class, during the last 10 minutes of class, or during Troy time. Now, Troy time is only 25 minutes. And if you have a reason to go to work with another, to go work with another teacher, that's already going to be set up in the student schedule. So we'll also work through that. But just know that this is going into effect next week. It's something we've done in the past when we're in brick and mortar, face-to-face -face learning. We've just been really slow with implementing it this year because we've had to implement so many new things to our students. So I'm hoping for great support from our parents and guardians. Make sure you talk to your students about that. We really need to have the halls free of people between the first 10 minutes of class, last 10 minutes of class. And of course, students need to take care of restrooms. Students need to take care of getting drinks of water. We know that's all real. That We need to afford them that. But we're really here to learn. We're really here to teach and instruct. And we think this is really a great way to go. So anyway, that's it. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to email me. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day, everybody.